got a second example here on do loops in VBA. We want to create a VBA sub that will choose a number between 1 and 10. So it's going to do that for you. Then it's going to perform the guessing game. So it's going to ask you guess a number, and it's going to do that until the user guesses the chosen number. Let's make a quick flowchart for this. We start. Then the program's going to choose a number for us between 1 and 10. We can use the rand between function in Excel. We also need to dim n as an integer. So we need to enter into a loop, and we're going to ask the user for a number. We're going to call this the guess, capital G. It's also going to be an integer. If the guess, G, equals the number, then we exit. And we might display some sort of congratulations message. And we end. However, if we're false, if the guess is false, we'll have a message that'll say something like try again. And this will loop back up to before they input the guess. So this is the code that we're going to implement for this guessing game. So I'm going to name this sub guessing game. We dim the two variables, n and g, as both as integers. We then enter into the loop. And the first thing that happens inside the loop is we ask the user for their guess in an input box. So I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. What's your guess? Next, we're going to check to see if the guess is equal to n. And I forgot to define what n is, so we need to do that outside the do loop. We use the worksheet function ran between 1 and 10. Now we put our exit do statement. If g equals n, then exit do. If we don't exit the loop, then we will stay inside the loop. We'll have a correction message, guess again, and this will go back into the loop. So we'll loop and loop and loop until g is equal to n. In that case, then we're going to want to have a congratulations method. Okay, so let's run through this. I'm going to press F8. We obtain from the ran between function, we get a random number between 1 and 10. It shows 5. So I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. What's your guess? Maybe like 7. And is 7 equal to n? No. So we stay inside the loop. We guess again. I'm going to guess 4. No. And because I know what it is, it's 5, I'll put in 5. And when that matches, we exit the loop and we get a congratulations message. So this is an, another example of how you can implement do loops in VBA code.